Hi and welcome to the Home Engineers channel. Uh, today what I'm discussing with you is the loose jaw on a 4x6 uh, bandsaw. Um, when cutting stock, um, short stock, a lot of people put this screw in as I did on this very small um, jaw. I used to wind it in and I used to find it a real faff. So what I decided to do is I needed a quick um, release mechanism for the bolt so it could go backwards and forwards and I also wanted to improve on this jaw um, and, and make it longer um, so what I've come up with is um, this system oh, uh, that fits on this, this this jaw it has been machined square um, so it's nice and square this is the new bolt that slides in and out of the, um, the the locking mechanism it relies on a spring um, to push it up to locate it into the thread at the bottom and the top piece has been machined away so that when you push this down it releases uh, the lead screw so you can push it in and out I've also added uh, a slot here so that if I ever need to remove the 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 spindle itself um, if I'm doing angles and it sticks out too far it can be removed without this popping out and it retains it so all I need to do is pop that into there sorry pop that into the pocket at the back push that then push that then down line up the keyway and it's a dog grub screw to lock it in place and as can be then seen that this then can go up and down We can then push this down, engage this, and that then is locked in there. So if I want need to remove it quickly, it goes forward, and then I can just screw it the last little bit. So it's just a very quick um, method for cutting short stock, um, and I hope this is definitely going to be an improvement on the um, short jaw as well. The other thing that I've also done is I've fabricated up, well, silver soldered up these um, locks for it so that these can fit on the top here so that I can actually lock it down to the um, lead screw nut so that when it drives in and out, um, this thing doesn't twist about. Um, and I wanted it all above the um, saw so that it was easy to see. Inside the top here, I've put a D10 grub screw, and all that is is a grub screw with a spring inside it, very similar to this, um, with a um, ball bearing. Put a couple of little grooves into the um, T handle so that when it goes along, it then locks in so I don't lose the handles. And if it gets in the way for any reason, hopefully it won't, because I hope hopefully I will have it parallel to the um, the, the, the vice. But if it does, it just means I can then, if it did land, if it does rotate and land there, it just means I can push it there and get it out of the way so it doesn't interfere with any stock. These, this hasn't, isn't quite finished because obviously it needs to be painted, um, but I just want to get the principle um, set up in place. Now I will then go and show you it on the saw. Okay, so now we're over by the saw. Um, I had to make a stud to go into the nut. Um, because I wanted it to be M8 and it was an imperial size. This then just slides over. You can wind the handle down to lock it on. On here, uh, again, I, I, I found this on YouTube. It's not my design. Um, it's a dead stop for this jaw. So this can come around. Um, hit there and then you then know that you're at 90 degrees to the saw 
I can then lock off the saw. Again, this has got the same detent, so if it comes in the wrong place, it can it can be removed out of the way. I can lock it off, the jaw's locked in place. I can undo this, slightly lock it up, bring the handle, bring the handle in, just to square it up. So it's nice and square. I can then lock this off. And that then is square. And as you can see, when I wind the handle back, this jaw is no longer flopping about, making it difficult to, to align because it's actually clamped to the top of the lead screw nut. Again, quick view of the quick release. So if I had a piece of short stock in there that I needed to cut, um, even though this is locked, it's, it's not brilliant because with the force on it, I, I think, yeah, it would still still move. So I would then push down the lever, push this through, screw it up to the right size, and then I can then clamp um, the shorter piece in this side of the jaw without the jaw um, releasing it and letting it go. Um, the same thing here, I've modified this jaw because um, this is able to pivot now. I've made a special screw there with a shoulder so that I can clamp it down. And I've also put a no-lock nut underneath it. And then I've also had to make a different um, size um, clamp um, because there wasn't a lot of room there, but I've machined this down because that was just rough cast so that this can now um, lock down as well. So that's basically, hopefully, uh, an overview of the improvements I've made um, to the... Uh, fixed jaw and the loose jaw, the stop mechanism so that you can move um, to your mitre cuts and then move it back very quickly and then also the quick release um, screw and as I said before if you were doing a, a mitre um, and it was a long piece that you didn't want this sticking out I can push this through, remove it, this is still um, retained because of this dog screw and then if I need to put it back in it go straight back in turn it round and it can just stay in place um, while um, the, the, the saw is, is cutting its stuff when I'm using the larger stock but this I think is just a, a great addition um, to the machine um, because it has saved me winding in and out and getting frustrated um, with that very small jaw um, which really wasn't um, big enough uh, and, and also you had a job to lock it down, etc. There is a good reason as well why I've put these clamps above um, because I don't know if you can just see here, this is my hydraulic feed system. And again, if I'd have had a, um, let me show you, if I'd have had a, um, a clamp underneath um, the hydraulic system because it goes down quite low with the gauge would have been in the way and to be honest with you i wanted it all above um, so that it was easier to see and easier to um easier to uh operate where are we so as you can see there's the uh there's the the back of it there so hopefully that will be of interest to some people um, and thank you very much for your time. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is I had to make a special T-nut to go underneath and I also had to machine a slot in the uh, jaw because when this rotates the slot is not cast centrally to the um, pivot position okay well thank you very much for your time and um, if you've enjoyed this video um, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up thank you